This episode title intrigues me. Soul Salvation. Like I thought Aaron would be the soul salvation of Eldia, but so did Levi. But who knows at this point? I'm curious. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Attack on Titan, the final season, back to back. This one's episode 15, if I remember correctly. Uh, yep, this one's called Soul Salvation. Like I said, no idea what's gonna happen. So excited. We left off with Flock and Hanji. Oh my, they beat up my boy Keith. I didn't even talk about it at the end of the last episode. I should have. But Flock uh, are scouting and getting new recruits from the cadets, moving them over to the Jaegerist. Hanji, we're, we're going, or he's telling Hanji to tell him where Zeke is. Zeke planned on running away from Levi to meet up with Eren. Eren, I think, knows where that's going to be. That's why he's going to Shiganshina with Armin, Gabby, and Mikasa. But Levi was able to stop Zeke. And I don't know what's going to happen there, but gonna, ooh, the way we left off is crazy. I am so ready to jump into this. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, like Black Clover, Haikyuu, Jujutsu Kaisen, we are four episodes ahead. Check out that Patreon. Links are always down below for you guys if you guys want to do that. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm, getting me out there in the recommendations. Make sure to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys Oh, so very much. Let's hop right on into this, though. Uh, Attack on Titan, Season 4, or the final season, Episode 15, Soul Salvation. Is this... Oh. This is Grisha. And Diana Fritz. I assume. Wow. He definitely planted a couple of the seeds of revolution right there. You're going to save everyone. Oh my god, bro. We're not done with the flashbacks yet. We got him as a warrior candidate. Is that Magath? Is that Cassaver? The well, glasses. Yeah, it is. So he replaced him. Oh, wow. It's so weird seeing Krisha and Dina again. Dina. Krisha I don't know if it's propaganda, but that's so crazy that Gramps is just reading this like it's a nighttime story. See, that seems more a book that I would want you to read to him, not how many tens of thousands of people. Ugh. And then we see Sister Faye, or I guess his Aunt Faye. So sad. I don't want them to make me feel anything for Zeke because he has done horrible things, but they successfully did it for Reiner. So I guess they might be able to, you know? Sees that relationship with that dad. Wants it like that. Let's play some ball. So I'm assuming instead of having this father relationship like he wanted with his dad, so they're already teaching him the, the, the real truth, but instead of that relationship that he saw like with the dad playing ball with his son like he wants, and you know, grandpa was talking about how be, how busy Grisha was, how Zeke m misses him and is, you know, doesn't see him as much as he would like to, it all definitely helps point towards Zeke, you know, betraying them later on in the story, but also... It also points to as to why he might have this super deep relationship with Cassaver if they're playing ball and he sees him like a father and that's where he got the glasses from. It's really seeming like he doesn't even view Grisha as his father. Hmm. 
That's the man himself right there. That was a good throw. <laughs> I think he's doing this because he knows that Zeke is lacking behind and he's one of the candidates to be... Yep. He's, you know, gonna... Yeah. And it's funny that he's playing catch. He's the ex-Beast Titan it, throwing everything. Tom Cassaver. See, he's just taken back. This is exactly what he wants, bro. He just is looking for that, you know, to satisfy, you know. Oh no. They found him overhearing. No. Too much pressure on so many different sides. Grandparents, parents, you know? The fake story of atoning for his sins. The real story his parents are telling him, you know? Like, he has so much pressure on him. No wonder he cracked and turned in Grisha, you know? I can't believe how he much... How much he excels at being a tight... Oh, no. Bro. And then he has such a good relationship with... This is... That was such a crazy cut. Man, it's crazy how context and flashbacks can really change your perspective on a character. Like, the only time I've heard Grisha even be like that was when he was in the forest with Eren after the wall of Shiganshina went down. But it's just so crazy uh, how much we're getting how, like con like I say in context of how his relationship with his parents was horrible. Like, not horrible, but it was pretty damn bad, especially with his relationship. Obviously, Cassaver is a, a socially observant guy. He sees that Jaeger, that Zeke's going through it. He knows he's slacking. He knows it obviously must feel horrible as a kid to want to live up to these expectations lived on you. He he knows obviously about this horrible situation being in this internment zone. So I, I don't know if he's doing this out of pure kindness. I don't know. I, I need to know his intentions. I don't think it has anything shady. I don't think he, see, he doesn't seem like a shady dude whatsoever. But he touched the heart of Zeke so much and it's so crazy. But it's crazy to see how bad Zeke was during these trainings. And he, like I know Colt was saying, he is like beyond the level of any beast titan they've ever seen. Like maybe it's due to his royal blood, but what happened? I know we're probably going to get the answer. I'm just saying, what happened? See, he doesn't really want to. He has to be. It's the pressure, I'm telling you. It's horrible. I feel so bad. Really? Is that why Zeke knows more about even Marley than, than, than Titan? Two decent people, a real rare, rarity, you know? He's not wrong. It's crazy to see what becomes of good people in this world. He just stays over here in conversations, doesn't he? He could tell just by overhearing that conversation that the restorationists are his parents. He's just, he's just a worried kid, man. I feel for him. Yeah, but you're telling this to a child, guys. Right? Bro, I really can't blame Zeke. I really can't. After eating this flashback, I can't. How does this show do this, man? Stop trying to make me feel for these characters, man. I hate it. Saver was the one who told him. Who told him to do it. Zeke. 
So I can't even begin to say I fully comprehend what's going on in these people's minds because they live very complicated situations. But if I was a child in which my grandparents told me one thing, my parents told me something else, and then the only person who genuinely was interested in my well-being and cared for what I wanted was the person was Cassaver. If I myself was in Zeke's situation, see, I can't even say that because I have I have a fantastic relationship with my parents. But like, I don't know, man. I don't blame him. Like, Isayama is the only person who can make me morally question every character in the show. Like, there really is no good bad. Like, Aaron's good bad. Reiner's good bad. Zeke's good bad. Oh my god, this is just crazy. I like I'm just pausing it so I can pro I, just, I don't know why I'm pausing it. I hate I hate myself. It's crazy. So definitely a time skip. He's getting a lot older. He's getting closer to his time limit. They're still playing catch. Those are the other this peak. Yep. Yep. That's possible? That is scary. That's crazy. Jasa,どうしてまたあくまを産んだ。子供を産めなくすることもできるのかな。もしこれ以上ユミルの民が生まれてこなければ、百年後には何より。そもそも僕らは生まれてこなければ苦しまなくてよかったんだ。話してなかったけど、私には家族がいたんだ。どうせで馬鹿もなく、私がエルディア人だと知った妻は自分と息子の喉を裂いて死んだ。私が天気になった
I just cannot believe we got that story. And it actually answers so many questions that I'm kind of freaked out. Like, I never, like if you were saying, hey, what's the backstory that you think would explain how Zeke is the way he is? I never would have thought it would be would have been about euthanization. Like, that's just a crazy concept in my, in my opinion. But the way it's, where it stems from, oh, I just got chills, sorry. Uh, something, I don't know, I just got chills. Where it stems from being not only his, like I said earlier, his horrible relationship with his parents, but with uh, an evolving relationship with Mr. Cassaver that, you know, grew over many, many years to the point where, I mean, earlier on, it wasn't that long until he told him to report his parents, but he really, at that point, that was easily the best relationship he had. So I understand why he would take that over his parents, he even called him father when he, when he died, you know? So for, for this whole plan to have started from Mr. Cassaver, like saving Zeke, but also taking off his band, pretending he wasn't Eldian to have a wife and child to marry, to have a family. And then when she found out, she slit their child's throat and her own. I can totally understand why he would do this grandiose suicide in order to get as much information about Titans as he can, because that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to understand his, his past, the people's past, the sins. He just wanted answers completely understandable we're just wanting answers but you know he i don't think he planned on see i think i don't think he planned on having this relationship with zeke at the beginning but he was with magath he, he saw zeke getting you know getting behind he wanted to help him out in some way because he saw himself in him because they're eldians you know they go through it this is a cruel horrible world and eventually they became such good friends and when he told him the story about his family and how zeke wishes he could save children from being forced into this cruel cruel world in these situations you know like i never in my life would have thought that attack on titan would touch on an abortion topic like i mean technically not abortion because it's it's not you know i'm not even gonna get started on that but i'm just saying on that general broad range i never would have thought we'd go there but it's done so tactfully like it's crazy like and now he's dead. He has to be dead. Zeke has to be dead after that Thunder Spear. Man, I don't even know if I should say RIP. Because like I said, these characters, like, like normally on anime, if there's a character that dies, and even if they're a bad guy, but ah, but these that's what I'm saying. These guys are bad guys and they're good guys. Everyone's a bad guy and a good guy. So should I do my thing? Normally when somebody I like dies, I always go like, you know, give them the respect, you know, because they're up there in anime heaven. But it's like... This is such a complicated show. I don't know how I feel about Zeke. That's how you know this show is amazing. I am divided on Zeke, on how I feel. Oh my lord. I don't know. I don't know. This, uh... All I can say is the backstory was amazing. Everything made sense. It, it, it leading up to how he turned in Grisha and Dinah completely made sense. And then with the grandparents and everything, Cassaver was that third party that was just... And then everything leading to Aaron and the plan. And oh my god. I it has to be a part two though. That's all I can say. This episode was fantastic though. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. I appreciate you, Dapper Squad. Follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter at Dapper Darius. Peace out, guys. Have a great day.